I just want to say the Clark sisters have been such an influence to me, as everyone knows. Uh, just always loving y'all. And they, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even have the idea to sing that way. Ooh, hey. I love them. Go. You are the sunshine. You are the sunshine in my life. Oh my God, the Clark sisters. Oh my God, what an impact they've had on my life growing up. Their voices changed the game for me in gospel music. Congratulations on 47 years from Selena Johnson. Hi, I'm Beverly Crawford. I am so excited to just talk about my sisters, the Clock Sisters. I love them so much. Uh, they have been a great part of my life uh, ever since I was a little girl. Following them, we have all, everything from uh, albums and CDs, whatever they've done, I've always tried to mimic, you know, uh, Dorinda. I'm sorry, Dorinda, but I do be having church like you just all y'all just love y'all and I'm so excited uh, about this movie and what God is doing in your life thank you for being uh, in my life and being sisters and, and, and encouraging and uplifting we love what you do and we're excited about what God is doing for you God bless Hello everybody, my name is Ernest Pugh. I'm super excited about the Clark Sisters anniversary. This is a milestone, uh, not only in ministry, but just in life period. Uh, for decades, have you been just a curator of excellence. There are three things that come to mind when I think of the Clark Sisters. Number one, I think of gospel royalty. You are that and more. And the second thing, there's a song that says, you can do what no other power can do. He can do what no other power can do. You all can do what no other power, no other artist, no other genre has done. You've been able to cross the lines of culture and, and religion and denomination and even age barriers and make global impact. That is unmatched, unprecedented. And so I thank God for you guys. Finally, I want to talk about one uh, situation that happens in about the year of 1982. Uh, I was already getting ready to go to high school and I was at the Mason Temple Church of God in Christ at the Holy Convocation. And the Clark sisters got on stage at about two o'clock a.m. Now, before I ever heard them sing, I'm from Memphis. I wanted to do blues, right? B.B. Uh, King was the man, you know what I'm saying? But when I heard the Clark sisters, they came in and they said, he see, he healed my body, made me whole. That's what he done, 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 <laughs> what he done for me. But they probably ran it on for about another two minutes. But when I tell you, the place erupted. It was two o'clock in the morning. But the power of God fell in that place at two something in the morning. When that was over, I said, I looked at my mom and I said, I want to be a gospel recording artist. Because to see those people come alive and to feel the power and the presence of God at that time of morning, it's ridiculous. And so um, you have always been a very consistent, all of you, consistent sources of strength and encouragement to my life, to my ministry, to my career. And I just want to decree over you that the worst is over and God's very best is yet to come. God bless you and I love you guys. Congratulations, Clark Sisters, on yeah. your new movie. Yeah. So sisters, what is some of your favorite Clark Sisters songs? Oh, I walked in the rain. Nothing to lose. Uh, nothing to lose. <laughs> <laughs>
Christina Bell. The Clark sisters have inspired me to make sure that I strive to be more like Christ on and off stage because you never know who's watching you. And it's always so important to make sure that you know that Christ should always dwell inside of you everywhere that you go with so much poise and so much grace. Congratulations to the Clark sisters. I'm so excited about your new movie and all that God is doing for you in this season and in this time. Thank God for the legacy of Dr. Maddie Moss Clark and all that she left for you to carry on. I want you all to know that you've been a blessing to my life individually and collectively. And my prayer is that God continues to favor you. You've definitely brought the sunshine into my life. God bless you, Renee Winston. So you can't tell me nothing when I got my DCC glasses on. I got my I Love Dorinda shirt. I've got my I Love Dorinda mug. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I'm just so honored to play a woman who is not only so beautiful on the outside, but more importantly, so beautiful on the inside. That is none other than Dorinda Clark Cole. I've been listening to the Clark Sisters since three, four years old, probably even earlier, but that's my earliest memory. And they have been the soundtrack to my childhood. And I just can't believe that full circle moment, I'm able to be a part of telling their story um, in a movie. You guys deserve it all. Um, you've been in the trenches, you've trusted God, and um, you're getting your reward now. So I couldn't be prouder and um, may God continue to bless all that you do. What an awesome opportunity it is to be able to say thank you to a group of women who have just meant so much to me. Um, your music and your ministry and your lifestyle has just uh, glorified God and you're just a light sitting on a hill and you cannot be hidden and we're so grateful. Um, I just want to say blessings to you and on you. I'm so excited about the new movie coming out. Can't wait to see it. Even though we're in quarantine, we get to share as a family your movie in just a few days. God bless you and what a mighty work you have done for the Lord and the kingdom of God. God bless. I really wish I could be there with you guys and nobody can be there with you guys right at this point, but, uh, I've had the pleasure of working with Miss Jackie Clark Chisholm. She's like an auntie to me, as well as Miss Twinkie, and as well as Miss Dorinda. I haven't had the pleasure with Miss Karen, but I tell you, I'm so excited about the national treasure that you ladies are. And you've done it with so much class. Oh, I just appreciate that more than anything. And I'm hoping that the younger generations are watching you. Not only are you a national treasure, but you're a kingdom treasure. And we thank God for you. Keep doing what you're doing. I'll be forever listening. And it seems like it's taking forever to download 12 albums at one time. So I'm going to keep trying. All right. I love y'all. Stay safe. Have a good one. Congratulations. Wow. 47 years of ministry. I can't believe it. Listen, I was an adolescent, I believe, when I was introduced to you guys' ministry. And I just want to say that y'all were my vocal coaches. 
you and my vocal training. Cameron, with that, clap your hands in. I used to sing that for my church. And Dorinda, you brought the sunshine. Your part, I used to just sing it in the mirror as a kid. I just wanted to be just like you when I grew up. <laughs> but listen, I want to say thank you so much for teaching us what legendary looks like. Thank you. And happy anniversary to you. Everywhere I go, everybody's like, you look like one of them Clark sisters. You just have no idea the depth that compliment reaches for me. I love you so much. And I celebrate you and honor you on what an honor it is for me to honor you. God bless you. Hey, what's up, guys? Joshua Rogers here. And I uh, have so much that I could say about the Clark sisters. Um, how mad, how you guys have been um, continually kind and sweet and honest and um, full of love and advice and guidance for me. Um, and the truth of the matter is, is that you guys don't have to be that way, but I thank you because you are. And it's not just a facade, but it's real. It's who you guys really are. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the collard greens, the macaroni and cheese, the uh, moments of chastisement, the <laughs> moments of prayer, the moments of uh, picking at me. <laughs> <laughs> calling me spoiled and so much more i love you guys i do you guys are legendary uh always will be but you guys are also just genuinely amazing people and so yeah i love the clark sisters hey y'all this is queen t tequila wilson look i had to jump on here and shout out my girls the clark sisters i love you guys you guys are freaking amazing you're my aunties um i grew up on you guys dorinda clark cole especially i studied her i listened to her every freaking day listen congratulations on the new music y'all keep going don't stop keep making amazing banging music okay don't go nowhere <laughs> they back Hey, what's up, it's Saeed, a.k.a. SR. And is of the authors, and we just want to say congratulations. And happy anniversary to the legendary Clark Sisters. Your 47 years of ministry has inspired the face of gospel music, R&B, and every genre in between. No riff, no run, no blend, no harmony will ever be the same without you guys. You guys are iconic and legendary. Congratulations on a new movie. I'm glad the world get to see what we already know. Congratulations on a new album. And thank you for letting us be a part of it. Thank you. Let the church say Grammy. Amen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your ministry. Thank you for blessing us with your gifts. And we love y'all. Love you so much. As far as I can remember, my parents have always played the Clark Sisters, which clearly educated me. Uh, name it, claim it, live in, it's my living in vain. Uh, you brought the sunshine. I mean, the list goes on. You guys have affected all of us in such a great way. Uh, I think it's time you deserve to get your flowers, like, you know, while you can smell them. Each and every one of you are so essential and important um, as individuals. And collectively, I think you guys are just amazing. There's no blend like you. There's nobody like Jackie. There's nobody like Karen. There's nobody like Dorinda. There's nobody like Twinkie. And I just, I, I'm i I'm grateful. Um, Avery Wilson, if you ha don't know me, uh, which is fine, but if you do, uh, I just want to say thank you for being everything that we needed, you know, in our hard times to clearly get us through. You made my day, you came my way, mm -mm -mm. you heard me every time I pray, mm -mm. you gave me peace, you gave me grace, mm -mm. you put a smile upon my face. You are the sunshine in my life. Literally. <laughs> I love y'all. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Maurice Lochner. Listen, the Clark sisters, oh my God. I had the honor of singing background for them at Maya Angelou's 80th birthday. And to to be one of the their background singers for that event um, was just amazing. They have been so inspirational to me and to so many other singers. Um, and I just love the fact that they are still being used mightily by God and their voices are still, um, amazing to me, you know? And so 
Name it, claim it, it's yours, it's yours, yours for the asking. Thank you so much, Clark Sisters. Keep shining. National Evangelist D. Lamont Kenner, Church of God in Christ. What an honor and privilege it is to speak well of the global, iconic, the legendary Clark Sisters. Although I appreciate you collectively, I more so honor you individually in the persons of Dr. Dorinda Clark Cole, Dr. Karen Clark Sheard, Supervisor Jackie Clark Chisholm. Thank you for your ministry. We thank you for your love, your compassion, your support. And today I honor you by speaking well of you. Thank you for being consistent. Thank you for being women of power, women of prayer, women of substance. And with that, everything that God has ever said about you, it has to happen and it's happening now. God bless you. Hey, name one group that's as better as the Clark Sisters. You can't, right? Because they like one of the greatest groups ever. I mean, come on now. Listen, I love the Clark Sisters. They have been such an inspiration in my life. Um, when you think about the Clark Sisters, you're thinking about jazz, you're thinking about church, you're thinking about uh, soul. You're thinking about everything. The Clark Sisters bring so much life to the music community. Their blend, their sound is completely out this world. They're like from another dimension, you know. When you think about the Clark Sisters, you're thinking about soul food, you know. You're thinking about stuff like that. Let me tell y'all, the Clark Sisters will forever have my support. Thank you so much for being an inspiration to my life, to the music community. Um, y'all are just incredibly outstanding all right i love y'all the class sisters is killing right now the clark sisters where do you begin when talking about the clark sisters they are second to none when it comes to the music industry and i'm not just speaking to gospel music i'm speaking to music period who does it better than the Clark sisters? I love how each sister contributes something different to what many know as the Clark sound. Jackie, the smooth, mellow vocals. Twinkie, the powerhouse squalls. Dorinda, the scats, the riffs, the runs. Karen, the range, the runs, the growls. It's just simply amazing. And it is not an understatement when I say that I listen to the Clark sisters every single day. Anyone that knows me will tell you that. And I've had the privilege of seeing the Clark sisters several times in concert. And it is not just a concert, it is an experience. One minute you're gonna be saying, play Twinkie, sing Jackie, scat Dorinda, run Karen, and then Five minutes later, you're going to be in the corner shouting somewhere. And then five minutes later, you're going to be speaking in tongues because it is an actual experience. And I love that what sets them apart is that they live the lives that they sing about. And the anointing is so powerful. And I will reiterate what many people have said, and that is that the Clark sisters and their music has been with me through good times, through bad times, and they are just simply amazing. So I am super excited for everything that is happening for them right now. They deserve it. Jackie, Twinkie, Dorinda, and Karen, I love you. The impact of the Clarkses is absolutely phenomenal because their music is timeless. There's never a time you can just turn on the Clarkses and say, well, this is from such and such, or this is from this era. The music just flows from year to year, from moment to moment, with whatever's going on in history. Even the song that was written years ago by Twinkie, Pray for the USA, especially what's going on today with the coronavirus and things like that, to just show you that their music is a lasting testament. And even for me, one of my personal favorites is, is My Living in Vain. The song was written many years ago, but when I was at my lowest in my life, it was a song that I leaned on. Is my living, is my living in vain? And no, 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 no. Of course not. It's not in vain. Forever the best, phenomenal, most legendary female group of all time, all genres, the Clark Sisters. It's DW Bass. Um, listen, 
There's so much I can say about the Clark sisters. I can't do it in 30 or 60 seconds. So I'll say I love you, Clark sisters. I appreciate you. And for me, you the foundation of gospel music. Playing the drums as a kid, I used to pull out the pots and pans, and I used to kill them boys to the You Brought the Sunshine record. I even kept it. This record means so much to me. I kept it, and I still have the same record that I had back then. I love y'all. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't even be in church today, honestly. And that's the 100% truth because the innovation of y'all music is what got my attention. And I just want to say again that I appreciate y'all. I love you. And I just can't stop saying it. I love you. I love you. I love you. You brought the sunshine. In my life. <laughs> One day I'm going to go in there and sing backs. Probably not, but I love y'all. Hey, it's Patrice here. I wanted to be a part of the celebration of 47 years in the industry. You all have impacted the world for 47 years of gospel music that has ministered to so many, ministered to me, myself personally. My favorite Clark Sister song that has gotten me through is God Knows and Understands All. For times when I did not understand some things, I know that he knew and understood all. Um, just wanted to congratulate you on the new album, The Bomb. Hands down, The Bomb, I must say. On the new movie, can't wait to preview with everyone else. And to also thank you for allowing me to work with you all in the capacity that I have been able to work with you. Just want to say congratulations again. Love you all. Love you, Aunt Jackie, Aunt Twinkie, Aunt Karen, and of course, Dorinda. Love you all. Congratulations. Wish you many, 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 many more years. Hey everybody, George McKinney here, longtime makeup artist to the legendary Clark Sisters, my friends. I am so honored that I have the opportunity to say thank you for being your artist for the past 20 years. So many red carpets, um, so many award shows, so many functions, and you guys trusted me with your beautiful faces. Thank you so much. You have opened so many doors for me. You have made a major impact on my career and my life spiritually. I just can't say thank you enough. I love each and every one of you. Who does it better than Twinkie, Jackie, Dorinda, and Karen? Nobody. Congratulations on the movie. Congratulations on all you all success. And thank you for being such a light, such an inspiration to people like myself. I've worked with you all over the years. I've arranged for you. And it's just been a sheer, sheer joy to pattern ourselves after you all. You all are the greatest of all time. And we celebrate and salute you. I love you. Sincerely, Sam Franklin. I love you all so much. I am super, super grateful that not only I have breath in my body, but I'm grateful for Dr. Dorinda Clark Cole and Dr. Karen Clark Sheard. The entire Clark sisters, they prayed for me as I was battling COVID-19. I hadn't been diagnosed, but I had all the symptoms. I wouldn't be here today if they hadn't prayed me through. They spoke a word in my spirit and in my life. And because they spoke it in my spirit, I had no choice but to take the authority that they gave me. Thank you, ladies, for lifting up another woman and not bringing her down. Thank you for investing in me. I love y'all so much. Good afternoon. I am Rosie Trina Moore, the founder of RTM Group Service. I come on to salute and congratulate my extended family, the legendary iconic gospel, the Clark Sisters. Yes, as they get ready to release this new project along with their new movie. Yes, I am so excited. I can't wait. Uh, thank you for sharing and giving us such great gospel music. I love you and I'll see you guys soon.
Hey, what's up? My name is Roderick Giles. Listen, I love the Clark sisters. There's nobody like them. Twinkie, you know I love you. I like the way in which she takes the word of God and put music to it and they sang it. Karen, you already know I love you. Dorinda, you know I love you. Jackie, you know I love you. I thank God for your lives. I pray that God will continue to bless you guys mightily. I thank God for being able to be in a position to have worked with you guys on stage. You guys are phenomenal. There's nobody like the Clark sisters. And guess what? I love y'all. Clark sister. Who don't know the Clark sisters? Everybody I know. Do you know the Clark sisters? That's kind of life. Everybody knows who my favorite artists are. The Clark sisters. Who hasn't been inspired by the Clark sisters? The Clark sisters are like trailblazers. The church loves the Clark The world sisters. love the renowned Clark sisters. We love you guys. Like, I'm so inspired by you guys. And then, you know, y'all don't look down on supporters, but you guys really show love. Everybody in church know that you done sung at least one Clark sister song at church. You had to. With this new album, though, I'm a masterpiece. Hey, hey, hey. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for everything. We appreciate you guys. We look up to you guys. You know you doing something right when generations know who you are. Like my generation and then my grandfather's generation, they know who y'all are. Y'all trailblazers. Y'all just, y'all paved the way for us in the Church of God of Christ. And this new album is fire. Like, and they're not ready for it. Yeah, they ain't ready for it. Love you guys. That's it. Thank you guys. I'm Keanu, by the way. Love you. April 11th. Watch the movie. Hey, my name is Julian Kennedy, and I'm an aspiring musician and singer. But I would say that the Clark Sisters is one of the most outstanding female gospel groups of all time. And as far as them being an inspiration based on my artistry, well, just listening to them now. Uh, their vocal abilities help me to become more creative with my voice. Um... Help me to become more open when I sing. Help me to have more expressions and feelings and passion when I do sing for Jesus. And to conclude, they will always be the number one female gospel group of all time. And I truly love and admire the Clark Sisters. Hi, I'm Dr. MJ Easley. I'm just here to talk a little bit about the amazing Clark Sisters. In the gospel industry and all kind of genres, they are considered to be living legends. And I just wanted to say, I believe that they're more than legends because if you understand a legend is a story, it could be a mythical story, it could be a true story or untrue. Um, so I believe that this is not a story. <laughs> I believe this thing is real. And I don't believe that they're just legends, but I believe that they are leaving us a legacy because our life has benefited from their life from their ministry, from their gifts, from their talents that they have willingly offered um, with such a high level of integrity that they have operated in for all these years. I just want them to know that we love you, we appreciate you, and our life is better because of you. The Clark sisters have impacted me through their music because their music is still relevant today and it helped me through my own personal struggles. They influenced me as an artist, and they influenced my music from their blend and their harmony and how in sync they are. And they inspire me to keep moving, trust in God, don't give up. And I thank them for that. And this, yeah. Thank you. Gave me nothing to lose. That song right there, it was what connected me to the Clock Sisters, honey. I was laying in the bed, and that started ringing in my ear. I had never heard of it before, and I'm like, okay, God, I hear what you're giving me. I was going to write it as if it was my song. I thought he was giving it to me. But lo and behold, he was giving it to me so I can discover who the legendary Clock Sisters were. And that was about four to five years ago. And ever since that discovery, I've not played anybody else, ask my family, but you all. I love you. I, I can't wait to see you. I, I'm your nephew. I look just like every last one of you. I can be Dorinda or Karen, so look at me. Look, <laughs> look at me. But I love you so much. And God has been so gracious to allow me to discover you all and to connect your ministry into mine. I teach all of your songs to my youth choir. I love you. Stay connected.
I just want to say thank you for being the standard. We are all trailblazing every riff, yes. every lyric. Never let a day go, go by and not realize <laughs> we are last. She can Don't do it all. take it for granted that we are here today. <laughs> Just know that we are blessed. Oh my goodness. The songs are so just beautiful. I love seeing the family singing together. And you guys are beautiful. Yes. Timeless. Like we're listening we're listening to the new album and it's like as if it's worth we're listening to it back in the day. It's effortless and timeless and so encouraging. You take us back and oh, forth. My goodness. It's so great. Past so, and present. We just want to say um, happy anniversary. We love you so, so, we so love much. You. We love you. Yes. So thank you. And here's to 47 more years. Back was against the wall. You looked out for me. <laughs> he heard my cry. Come on, sing it. And rescued me. Never let a day go by. Up there, she can do it. We love you. Hi, my name is Lasha Dawn, and I just want to say thank you to Bible Vocal Media for giving me the opportunity to say thank you to the most amazing group of all time, the Clark Sisters. I remember being maybe three or four and hearing them for the first time and thinking to myself, Whoa. Like, this is next level. I didn't know what I was hearing, but I knew that it was something amazing. And I knew that I needed it. So I listened and I listened and I listened and I learned so much from you guys. I can't even say thank you enough. I don't know where I would be vocally if I had not heard you guys um, sing the way that you did. And you kind of were like the cheat sheet for us church girls back in the day just hearing you guys um the riffs the runs the amazingness that you guys offer it was just so much and we thank you i thank you we love you so much keep being amazing as i know you what's up everybody james finley here i just want to give a greeting to jackie denise Twinkie, Dorinda, Karen, we all know and love them as the Clark sisters. Listen, I just want you all to know that I love you so, so very much. I'm so excited about everything that's happening in your life right now with the biopic coming, with uh, the new record, with everything that's happening for the Clark sisters. Oh my goodness. You all have impacted my life more than words can even really uh, explain or describe. I used to do book reports on y'all as kids, everything. Oh my goodness. Everything that you have done, even in, in the crisis and stuff that the world is going through right now, your music is still a major and huge inspiration from the old stuff even to the new stuff your music is still inspiration so i want you to know that you are yet loved you are yet needed in this world and the best is yet to come i know it's been almost 50 years but the best is still yet to come i love you so much and god bless all of you and i'm so excited about your future be blessed hello my name is Noah rivers i'm also known as hashtag the praise break on instagram I'm from Vallejo, California. If you don't know where that's at, that's in the San Francisco Bay Area. I just want to say I love all of y'all. Jackie, Twinkie, Dorinda, Karen, all of y'all my aunties. Okay? Y'all are my aunties. No lie. If anybody comes for y'all, I, mm -mm, that's a wrap. Nobody comes for y'all. Nobody comes for my aunties. I love y'all. Congratulations on the movie and on the new CD. I really, really do love y'all. Okay, y'all just don't understand how much y'all inspire me to do music and to keep going. I just want to say thank you for all that you've done and thank you for letting God move through each and every one of y'all in the church and outside the church. Hey Clark sisters, my name is Carrie. I'm 16 and I'm from Virginia. I am inspired by you guys every single day. I literally listen to y'all every day, okay? And I, I, I love you guys so much. You inspire me to live for God at a young age and to pursue holiness and to 
live in the will of God because that's the safest place in the whole wide world. And I'm so blessed by you guys. Um, thank you for all that you do for your fans and for your supporters. And I am so excited for the movie. I cannot wait. I will be sitting on my couch with some popcorn period okay <laughs> but thank you guys so much you inspire me hopefully one day i can meet you guys and just tell you how much i love you in person um continue to shine and to do what god has called you to do because you are making a difference even for my generation i love you guys much love from va Everybody, this is Marquis Patterson. Um, I had the pleasure of working with Dorinda for a St. Jude concert idea that was benefiting the hospital. And I worked with Karen this year by bringing her to Memphis for a gospel concert. And they have been, I mean, just such awesome people. Just, you know, coming on out and trust me being so young, a teenager and 20 something years old. So I love you all for not looking down on me and just pouring into the ministry and actually giving all that you had you are so such a prominent role for the gospel industry and we love you all we hope that you all keep producing music because we're going to forever support you keep being great love you bye-bye greetings clark sisters brother willie morris the third here from arkansas wanted to take time out of the schedule here to tell you guys thank you for your many years of service and your loyalty to the body of christ you guys have made an indelible impact upon my life and ministry. And I want to tell you guys, thank you. I appreciate you guys for every song, every sermon, every personal touch, every autograph. I thank God that I have the testimony of meeting all five of the sisters before I turn 12. I appreciate you guys for everything. You guys mean so much to me. And I pray God's best for you guys in this season and for the rest of your lives. God bless. Love you. The Clark sisters have influenced me in so many different ways, starting with Karen. She influenced me to go for your dreams, even though you may be the youngest, and though it might be scary, still go for your dreams. Dorinda has influenced me in the ministry to minister to the people and just do the work of the Lord. Twinkie has ministered me in music to help me to learn how to play the piano. She has influenced me to learn how to play the organ and the piano at the same time. Jackie, she's influenced me just to be me. Be yourself. Don't care what nobody say. Just be yourself. And I just thank them for being the role models in the black community and in the community in general, in the work of the Lord. They have made me want to do so many different things, and I thank them so much. They have made me want to do holy things and live a holy and acceptable life. They have lived by the word. Present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. They have done that, and they showed me that and how to do that as a 16-year-old, and I thank them. Hey, Clark sisters. I'm DeAndre, and I'm a big fan of you ladies. You ladies have inspired me in so many different ways, but one of the things that I love about you ladies is your sound. You ladies have a unique sound that no other artist can top. I also want to congratulate you ladies on your new album, your upcoming biopic, and also your Lifetime Achievement Award that you're getting at this year's Stella Awards. I love you ladies so much. Please keep doing what you're doing because the world needs the Clark Sisters. Hey Clark Sisters, it's Phoebe, a lifelong fan and supporter of you guys. I just want to say congratulations to you guys on your newly released album as well as your upcoming movie. I'm so excited for you. Um, I can't think of a group that's more deserving of the recognition and the accolades that you are receiving in this season. You guys have been in the industry so long, yet you remain so relevant and you're still inspiring as well as aspiring people from young to old. So I just want to say I'm so happy and excited for you this season um, and know that I love you for life. What can I say about the Clark sisters? These ladies have been such a jewel to the earth, uh, to me personally as well. Uh, their music, their ministry has been so encouraging, so inspiring. I met these ladies a few times and they are truly a blessing to this world. Um, there, there will never be no one like them, ever. No matter who comes, they can try to copy them, imitate them. They are the best of the best. These ladies truly do preach the gospel and they sing and live what they sing about. And what's in their heart is testifying because it shows uh, God is continuing to bless them. And I love them and I'm so excited. Hi, friends. This is your boy, Jeremiah M. Durham. And listen, when it comes to the inspiration that the Clark sisters has had on me, I tell you, it is amazing. When I was four years old, 
our children's church choir was singing, I'm looking for a miracle. And when I really became a fan of them was when my mom put me and my brother to bed, went downstairs, turned on front row live on GMC. And when I recognized their voices, I ran down the stairs and I begged her to let me watch it. She let me watch it. And then I had to go right back to bed afterwards. What I tell you, I could not stop singing the songs that I heard, especially songs like Looking to Get There and Blessed and Highly Favored. And I've just been a fan ever since. And so it's like every time I looked up in any situation, anything, the Clark Sisters music has been there. And it's just been truly a gift to me. And so, Clark says, I love you. I pray God will continue to bless you and keep you. And I pray most definitely he will continue to bless the success of your hit record, your new record, The Return, and also that he will continue to give you just longevity in the industry and will also bless your biopic, The Clark Sisters. First Lady to Gospel. Take care. <laughs> the Clark Sisters. Wow. What remarkable gifts they have. But most of all, we want to thank God for Maddie, because without her, without that vessel, we wouldn't have had the clock sister. So we praise God for Maddie. But I am looking forward to seeing this movie, because I know it's going to be dope. And most of all, y'all, this is so big time. Ha! This is real big time. So listen, April 11th, I believe, we feel to be ready to watch this movie. Hi, my name is Kinesia, and so I absolutely, absolutely love the Clark Sisters, and they impact my life so much because they inspire me to be stronger and keep on walking in this in this walk with Christ, and I absolutely, like, love their music, you know, DCC, my fave, hey, DCC, and I just love them to death, like, they're so legendary, and they deserve everything in the world because they are the foundation of to me of gospel music you know they they set that they set the bar high and it's gonna take a lot of work a lot of passion and a lot of love to do what they have done and are doing and so i just want to say i love you guys congratulations on the new album and the movie i am buying it i'm gonna be watching i absolutely love y'all uh. hey what's up my name is Patel fata i'm from new zealand and i just want to say a huge happy anniversary to the Clock Sisters. Um, I just want to thank the Clock Sisters for all they've done. Um, see these albums right here. You brought Sunshine and Conqueror are just an example of what um, God has blessed the world with. Um, I just want to thank them for all they've done. And I can't wait to watch the biopic. And um, the new album, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Um, yeah, I just, uh, just want to thank you guys for all you've done. And I um, just want to say that you guys have a huge fan base in New Zealand and uh yeah hope you come to New Zealand so uh, much love to you and um happy anniversary thank you so the Clarkses they impacted me when I first heard Blessed and Highly Favor Blessed and Highly Favor was one of my favorite is one of my favorite songs my other favorite songs are is my living in vain hallelujah um um you brought the sunshine and that new album release the return is my favorite songs are masterpiece broken to minister and power but my favorite Clark sister is um, Dorena Clark Cole. Like, I, I want to go hear her preach. Like, I heard her, but I want to hear her preach from my own eyes. And um, I want to. And, um, like, I want to. I never been to a Clark sister's concert. And I really hope, I really hope, like, in the future, I'll see them. And also, um, I want to see most definitely Dorenda when she, like, if, even if it's, like, even her own concert, I want to see Dorenda. It, but I don't matter who which Clark sister I see. I just want to see the Clark sisters. But my encouraged words are just keep moving forward. Hey, everybody. Uh, this is Sin Q Color. Um, please forgive me. Um, I need a shave. I need all of that stuff. It's um, been sitting here in the whole Corona thing. And, you know, we all are stuck in the house. So it is what it is, right? But uh, I just wanted to congratulate the Clark sisters, um, uh, Jackie, Twinkie, uh, Dorenda, and uh, Karen. Um, I love you all. Everybody knows that I'm one of the biggest Clark sister fans. And um, I work closely with um, um, Dr. Cole and Auntie Jackie um, on uh, the SMAC conference. And my life um, has been so influenced by 
those two in particular, um, they're such lovely ladies and they're so powerful. Um, um, and I've seen how kind they are. They take their time with every single person. Sometimes during um, the SMAC conference, um, I'm like tired and over it. And Dorinda will sit and she will uh, speak to every single person. And to me, that's just what makes her Clark sister. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, and I'm so inspired by um, them both. Um, Auntie Jackie is so hilarious. I'm telling you, if you ever want to meet a comedian, Jackie Clark Chisholm is it. And of course, Karen, um, the voice, what else is there to say? And, and Twinkie, the phenomenal writer, um, the backbone of all that is Clark's sister. And so, um, you know, we love you guys so much. Um, you are our queens. You are our first ladies. You are, um, what gospel music needs and love. So again, um, congratulations on your movie. Um, I, you know, all the accolades and awards that you're getting, I, I'm just, I just think it's, not even enough to say how much we all appreciate you guys. All right. Love you. Jackie, Dorinda, Karen. The clock system. The whole family is just anointed from Dr. Clark the way she directed that choir. All the way down to Karen's little grandbaby singing a song, playing the piano with her. And Karen, boy, Karen, Karen is a Karen is a big blessing. I mean, she can do the unthinkable. You know, echoes. <laughs> Can't nobody do it but Karen, amen? Amen. The clock sisters is cool. I wouldn't be nothing without the clock sisters. I listen to them every single day. I'm not quoting a lyric from one of their songs. I quote at least about 1,565,375 quatrillion lyrics a day. Thank you so much, clock sisters, for being such a big influence on my life. God bless you. May the Lord watch between me and these. Hi, I'm James Thorpe and the Clark Sisters are my absolute favorite group of all time. I remember discovering them when I was a little kid. I found this VHS tape um, titled Gospel and I put it in and there, there were these five ladies just singing. I mean, the harmonies, the dancing and all of it, it was something like I've never seen or heard before. And I've been enamored and infatuated ever since. Even today, a great number of my friendships started around our love for the Clark sisters. And my internet presence is pretty much based on the Clark sisters. They pretty much inspired everything that I do. And I'm just so grateful um, and so happy to see them getting their, their due. It's long overdue. There's a lot of due in that. But in due season, haha. -ha, and everything. <laughs> I'm just so happy for them. Hey, Pastor Ron Todd here. Listen, I gotta speak about how much I love and appreciate the Clark sisters. What trailblazers they are. I think all of us artists, especially here in the Metro Detroit area, we just love the Clark sisters and we love to pay homage to them because we understand that they paved the way for all of us. Um, if it wasn't for the Clark sisters, we wouldn't have uh, contemporary gospel music the way we're able to have it now. Uh, we wouldn't have the, the type of runs and riffs. The Clark sisters created the Detroit sound that we have today. You know, when we go across the country and people hear us sing and minister, the first thing they say is, wow, that's that Detroit sound. Well, that Detroit sound was birthed from the Clark sisters. I mean, Twinkie, Jackie, Karen, and of course, Dorinda. I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything that you've done. Thank you for what you've given to the gospel music industry as a whole. You guys are true legends and I love you so much. So I am absolutely just in love with the Clark Sisters ministry as a whole, the singing, the preaching, the intercessory side of it. Um, and their ministry has literally saved my life on a couple of occasions as a whole and individually. Um, I went through a few dark times in high school with losing my grandfather, my great-grandfather, going through a back surgery 
and waking up on a ventilator because my lungs failed while I was asleep. Um, and through it all, I was listening to the Clark sisters. And a couple of times I was suicidal, I put on the Clark sisters and I'm still here. So thank you. Thank you so much for being you. God bless you all so much for being you. Do not stop. Sometimes heaven seems so far away. I am still here. It's by the grace of the keep on. Yeah, he keeps on blessing me. May the Lord God bless you real good. Oh, listen, I am just grateful because I'm a product of the Clark Sisters. You all have changed my life and done so much. I felt that the Grammys winning all three in all categories, making history was just phenomenal. Now you all have done a movie and you have literally taken me back, took me forward and taken me into the future with this new CD. God bless you all. Jackie, Twinkie, Dorinda and Karen. It's my family. Love you all. God bless. There's so much I can say about the legendary Clark sisters. Uh, they have been such an impact in my life uh, since the age of eight. Yeah, I think since the age of eight um, is when I started listening to them singing and uh, just their vocals. But then I started digging deeper into their life and just how they are God-fearing women and how much they love the Lord and they're not ashamed of the gospel and um vocally they were amazing um they've helped me out uh singing like i said at a young age learning parts and to have it all in one group is just amazing and i just thank god that i was able to be inspired by them uh and i am a huge fan i love them and um i thank god for their lives and how they've impacted my life Hello, I'm Minister Frank Shepard. I want to start this video by saying thank you to the Clark sisters and everything that you have done for gospel music. Your songs have helped me down through the years. One of my, well, a couple of my favorite songs uh, is I'm Looking for a Miracle, My Mind is Made Up, Hallelujah, You Brought the Sunshine, and there's so many, 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 many more songs that are my favorites, but those are my top favorites right there. You all have helped me down through the years with your music. Uh, you all individually have either said something or sang something, and I said sang, sang something that has helped me down through the years, and I appreciate you and I thank you. And may God just continue to shower his blessings upon you because there is more in store for the Clark sisters. Thank you. Where do I start when it comes to talking about the legendary Clark sisters? They are beyond inspiring, beyond amazing, genuine, faithful women of God in every aspect of ministry and life. They have really honestly set an example of just honorable godly women and that's exactly what I strive to be as a artist a wife a mother just they've set the bar so extremely high and I just appreciate them and their press I appreciate their yes their consistency their sacrifice I mean they've given so much to the world and just the way they've inspired me and I just love them and I just pray that the rest of these years be the best in them yet because eyes have not seen and ears have not heard and I'm so excited Good afternoon, good morning. Um, my name is Elaine Morris from Cleveland. I like to say to Jackie, Dorinda, Karen, and Twinkie, I love you guys. Congratulations on your new movie, your album, everything that you have accomplished. God is so good. And today, on this day, all I wanted to do was to listen to you guys. Today, 15 years ago, I am cancer free. I love you all. Be blessed. And thanks for being a great deal and a part of my life. Bye. 
Hi everyone, I'm Deborah. I just wanted to come and pay tribute to the Clark sisters. I have been a fan uh, for years. Um, sometime, I believe, after I graduated high school in the late 80s is uh, when I um, first heard them and uh, uh, with uh, some, I think it was on some compilation CDs, uh, Great Women of Gospel or something like that. And then I finally heard their uh, project and they have just been an inspiration to me. I have gotten each one of them individual product projects and they each minister me minister to me from their own projects along with their collective projects um, over the years. And uh, Twinkie Clark, let me tell you, she is an absolute beast on those keys. Karen with the echo and Dorinda with the yeah, 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 yeah. and Miss Jackie with that smooth groove that she has when she just she just comes and just puts that icing on the cake, so to speak. And I I just want to say how much I have enjoyed them down through the years. What can I say about Maddie's girls other than I love them just as much as the world does? And if you don't, you're crazy. No, but seriously, you guys have really inspired me because as african-american women you have innovated music to its core how powerful is that you know and it's really amazing to see how you guys are a part of black history you guys are just geniuses you literally can bring the sunshine to a cloudy day not only through your music but through your ministry you guys walk that talk like nobody else and who knew it was so cool to worship god you know, and even though I have a special place in my heart for Dorinda, I love all of you and it's just not even enough words or I can't even find all the words to express my thanks for you and what you guys mean to this world. I just really thank you guys for being our instrument of praise. We, I don't know what the world would have done without you. So thank you guys. Love you. Okay, all right, when it comes to talking about the Clark sisters, you need way more than 30 seconds to a minute to tell all the good things about them. But I'm gonna try to keep this short. Um, um they inspire me so much, especially um, Elect Lady Cole. Um, and for them to be as known as they are is a blessing, and for them to take a big gap and pause like they did and come back stronger with a whole new album and a movie coming out you you gotta you gotta celebrate that that's a celebration let alone that should be a national holiday when that movie come out it should have been a national holiday when the album came out but that's my story my inspirational words when it comes to the clark sisters and you know i love you guys dearly <laughs> Congratulations to the Clark sisters, my favorite group, as you can tell. <laughs> you all deserve this movie and so much more. I'm blessed to say I live in the same era as the Clark sisters. I got a chance to experience them, <laughs> the greatest group, not the greatest female group, in the whole wide world. I just want to say thank you for your constant sacrifices, because I know it's not easy, but it will be worth it. Your living is not in vain. <laughs> the sky is still the limit. Congratulations on what's to come. And um, I love you all. I can't wait to work with you. And I have a blessing. Congratulations again. We love you. Clark Sisters, congratulations on your brand new movie and your the new album, which is stupid crazy. We so enjoy it. We just want to say congratulations as fans for the many years and contributions you've made to us and imparting in our lives. Um, thank you so much from the You Brought the Sunshine to the Is My Living in Veins to the You Gave Me Nothing to Lose to y'all, to your personal endeavors and your personal albums. Thank you for ministering to us for the decades of music. Um, we just want to say thank you and God bless many more years to come. What can I say about you guys? You have been a mainstay in my life since I could remember. I remember being a little girl riding on a church van on the way to church singing, hi ya 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 hi ya 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 I just love the Clark sisters. And listen, no tea, no shade. 
but Dorinda has always been my favorite. Hey, Rose. The Rose Gospel. I love all y'all. Can't nobody out sing y'all. Can't nobody do it better than y'all. You, you guys have been a blessing to my life and an inspiration to me in my music career because I'm an up and coming artist. But I thank God for you and the inspiration you've given us. Um, even it just poured down to your children. And you've been a blessing to me in my life. Okay, so the best thing I can say to describe the Clark sisters is um, if you die and go to heaven, they're going to be the voices that you hear at the gates. Um, I'm serious. You're just going to hear them at the gates. God already ordained them. <laughs> To do the singing for everybody that is entering into the gates of the kingdom. Literally, when you think of the Clark sisters, you think legendary, you think queens, you think anointed, you think of oil, you think of everything that can be good. They make it great. Honestly, I love them so much. They are the foundation of everything that I study. I love them so much. My favorite artist in the entire world. You made my day. <laughs> Again, I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I can't even I can't even talk about it, but I love y'all so much. The Clark Sisters, God bless y'all. If it hadn't been for the Clark Sisters, I could honestly say that I wouldn't be here today. So I just want to thank them for their music, their ministry, and just for always being themselves. Um, meeting them in person, it was really surreal. I, I'm honestly blessed. Um, who they are on social media, that's really who they are in person. They're so real and down to earth, so I thank them for that. And I just want to congratulate them on the new movie and the album. I speak nominations and wins over it. Y'all have no idea how much you mean to the younger generation, such as myself. I'm 18 and we all look up to you. It's true, you guys are like moms and aunts to us. We really look up to y'all. So yes, I thank you for that, for being role models and someone I can look up to. So once again, I congratulate you on everything and you deserve every blessing that has come your way and that will be coming. Honestly, when I think about the Clark sisters, I think the thing that stands out most to me is the fact that um, these sisters from the same family each uniquely have insane, super, super unique, super special, super anointed ability to, to sing. I mean, yes, minister, certainly. Um, but to sing, particularly Twinkie, Dorenda, and Karen. So I'm really, like, for me, it's like some of the greatest singing that has ever been heard, ever. Some of the most ever been heard, ever. Some of the most inventive singing. It's it's really bar none. And they're each so unique, but can also work together at the same time. It's amazing. The Clark sisters, to me, represent excellence. They represent steadfastness. They represent... Um, um, just true artistry, honestly, true, true artistry, because for me, what that means is identity and everybody who has ever been exposed to their music knows what it is the first time that they hear it again. It is a very unique, totally unique sound and totally groundbreaking and they will never be forgotten. Long live the Clark sisters. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Nolan Pruitt, and I'm just so honored. I'm so excited to uh, just have this moment. Um, you get, guys might know me from singing, preaching, or just being the host of Real Talk with your boy Nolan Pruitt. But I just come to, to say thank you. And uh, thank you is a powerful word. Uh, it's when someone does something for you, has touched your life, um, whatever the case may be, you have to just say thank you. So this is my moment to say thank you. Um, I've had three personal relationships with the, the Clark sisters. Um, uh, of course, uh, Aunt Denise, Aunt Jackie, and Aunt Dorinda. Um, and then, of course, I've been around and just in awe of um, of Twinkie Clark and Karen Clark shared uh, by their musical gifting and their um, musical talent, which is beyond this world. Uh, but I think one of the things I'm grateful for um, as a young um, artist, a young you know person trying to figure it out in the world, I'm, I'm thankful that you guys have t always taught and shown with your lifestyles that it's more than just the gift, it's the call and the life behind it. And uh, thank you for that. Thank you for always keeping that message at the forefront. 
um, because we, we're watching, we're learning. And so thank you so much uh, for everything. I've been blessed to be on the Dorena Clark Cole Show. And of course, my show will come back and uh, do some interview and do some coverage at her SMAC conference. I've been blessed to um, have Aunt Jackie on my show, interview her. I've been blessed to work uh, with uh, Aunt Denise. And I've been blessed just to be in the same room with Karen Clark Sheard and Twinkie Clark. I'm just amazed at these people. Thank you so much. God bless y'all. The impact of the Clark sisters is absolutely phenomenal because their music is timeless. There's never a time you can just turn on the Clark sisters and say, well, this is from such and such, or this is from this era. The music just flows from year to year, from moment to moment, with whatever's going on in history. Even the song that was written years ago by Twinkie, Pray for the USA, especially what's going on today with the coronavirus and things like that, to just show you that their music is a lasting testament. And even for me, one of my personal favorites is, is my living in vain. The song was written many years ago, but when I was at my lowest in my life, it was a song that I leaned on. Is my living, is my living in vain? And no, 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 no. Of course not, it's not in vain. Forever the best, phenomenal, most legendary female group of all time, all genres, the Clark Sisters. What's up y'all? So. I just want to get on here real quick and speak about the Clark Sisters and how they influenced me and how they inspired me. So they influenced me in so many ways with their music, the way they sing, the way they carry themselves. Their music is just like, boom. When you, they sing, it's just like, you just sit back and say, wow. And they inspired me to keep singing. I wouldn't be singing if it weren't for them. So, and I want to congratulate them on their new album and their movie. Make sure you tune in April 11th at 8 p.m. on Lifetime to watch the new movie and go download the album if you have not. God bless. Hi, I just wanted to share why I love the Clark Sisters. Um, I love their music and their vocal abilities, but it's their testimonies and their ministry that really reaches me. Um, Dorinda, Karen, Jackie, and Twinkie, all of them have a phenomenal testimony that um, I just love because they use their testimonies and how God brought them out to pro prophesy in their music. So I just want to say I love all of them and congratulations. Clark Sisters. Twinkie. Jackie, Dorinda, Karen, you all have did so much in our lives, we cannot even thank you enough. From opening doors through your music, let us know that our living is not in vain. Letting us know who brought the sunshine. Letting us know that we are blessed and highly favored. You have been the ones who has helped us be able to be the sun in our own road. You have helped us to be the be the light in um the darkness. You have been just you've just been so 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 respected in this household and in this church. And we just want to congratulate you on your movie. And we want to congratulate you on your um your album. And we just hope that you keep on doing the great things that you're doing. God bless you. I just want to say thank you to the Clark Sisters for everything you've done. Thank you for your ministry because y'all, your ministry, your music, your preaching, your teaching has moved me and made me to become who I am. Um, it has helped me through rough times in my life. And I just want to say thank you and I hope God continue to bless you. What's going on? I just want to say congratulations on 47 years of ministry. This is awesome. It's amazing. We really appreciate all that you've given us in the last 47 years. You guys are amazing women of God. And your influence is just out of this world. You've inspired me as an artist. You've inspired me in just many ways that I can't even explain. And um, I just want to say congratulations on your success. Congratulations on the movie. Congratulations on the new album. Congratulations on the Reverend James Cleveland Award. And, you know, we love you. We support you. We salute you. We see you. God bless you.
Aloha to the legendary Clark sisters, Miss Jackie, Miss Twinkie, Miss Dorinda, and Miss Karen, and also sending love to your sister, Miss Denise. My name is Lena, I'm from Hawaii, and I can absolutely, positively, 100% say that I am your biggest fan from Hawaii. I dare anyone to say otherwise. <laughs> And I'm just so privileged to be a part of this tribute, just to be able to say thank you to you beautiful women of God. Thank you so much for all that you do to inspire me and the world, the multitudes. I can't even begin to tell you how much you've inspired me as a musician and as a singer and a believer in God, amen, that just the level of excellence that you all present every and any time. Thank you to your mother, the late Dr. Mary Moss Clark, for having all of you beautiful women to bless the world with. For all the music, all the, just, just the love you all have spread all of these years. Also, congratulations on your beautiful new album. It is absolute fire. Oh, you all, oh, you all sound so good. You all have written the textbook. The textbook. The textbook of singing and writing and ministering and I just I just can't say anything else but thank you you all mean so much to me and I love you so much and I'm glad we as fans get to show you all that love and I hope you feel it and I hope you get all of this love that will not stop for you all just thank you so much that's all I can say thank you um that's it what else do you say other than, he gave me nothing to lose, but all, 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 all to gain. I love you all. God bless you. Mwah. The legendary Clark sisters. Oh my God. Everything about them is just so iconic. The classic riffs, the classic harmonies, their beauty, their fashion, their wisdom, their sense of humor, their ability to play several instruments. They preach, they teach, they do everything. And for 47 plus years, they have been singing deliverance, hope, faith, salvation, um, and so many other things into the hearts of people worldwide. They've been so consistent with their example of strong women of God with class and dignity and there's i don't think there's enough words that we can use to really express how great they truly are so let's just say thank you thank you thank you all you all are so wonderful music so And so sweet and complete, yeah, like the voice of an angel, hey, it ministers to me, a love song. One of my favorite songs from the Clark Sisters, I just want to say thank you and appreciate you for being who you are. You are a great gift to the body of Christ, and I love and appreciate you. Thank you again for creating the sound. I'm Nikki Potts from L.A. Jesus, the same yesterday, today, forevermore. Jesus, the same yesterday, today, forevermore. Jesus, the same yesterday. Yeah.